Hello everybody, I hope you are doing very well. In this video we are going to continue our discussion on the ISLM model for a small and open economy and this model is what we call the Mondel Fleming model. So in this video we are going to look at the effects of monetary and fiscal policy policies under flexible exchange rate. In the previous video we look at the effect of these policies under fixed exchange rate. So this case is going to be different. So let's remember that the flexible exchange rate is a, is a regime in which the price of a currency in terms of another currency is determined by the supply and demand of these currencies. There is no uh, role in the central bank in fixing the currency to another. So uh, let's start with this basic diagram that we have considered before. So here we have an equilibrium in the goods market, in the money market, and the local interest rate is the same as the international interest rate. So let's say that we are going to consider the effect of monetary policy. So if there is an increase in the amount of money in the economy by the central bank, uh, this is going to be associated with a reduction in the local interest rate. So the local interest rate, let's think, let's, uh, let's think about Guatemala. So the local interest rate in Guatemala is going to be lower than the international interest rate. So as a consequence of this, um, you are going to uh, you're going to see that uh, the citizens of this country, the individuals in this country, would like to invest their capital abroad, their money abroad, because they will get a higher return abroad. So they are going to demand US dollars because they cannot invest in quetzales abroad. So by when they demand US dollars, the quetzal is going to depreciate. And as a consequence of the depreciation, local products are going to be cheaper in the short term and that means that net exports are going to shift to the right are going to increase and this is going to shift the is to the right so what is going to be the effect the effect is that a monetary policy is going to have an effect what is the effect there is going to be an increase in production from y star to y to star and um, until we reach the new equilibrium. Now let's look at the effect of fiscal policy under flexible exchange rate. So fiscal policy is going to be an increase in government spending that is going to shift the IS curve to the right. As a consequence of this you are going to see that the local interest rate in Guatemala is going to be higher than the international interest rate. So that is going to attract uh, investors from abroad because they are going to get a higher return. So they are going to bring US dollars to Guatemala. There is going to be an increase in the supply of dollars and that is going to appreciate the quetzal, the local currency. And when there is this appreciation of the quetzal, there is going to be a reduction in net exports. Exports are going to be relatively more expensive because of this appreciation of the local currency and you're going to see a shift to the left of the IS curve. That means that fiscal policy is not going to have an effect. So what's the summary of this, uh, of this uh, monetary and fiscal policy under fixed exchange rate and flexible exchange rate? Okay, so when we are considering fixed exchange rate, fiscal policy is going to be more powerful, like a T-Rex, and monetary policy is going to be more like a mouse. In the case of a flexible exchange rate, uh, it's going to be the opposite. Monetary policy is going to be like a T-Rex and fiscal policy is going to be like a mouse. Okay, so here we finished our discussion on the ISLM model for small and open economies or what we call the Mondel-Fleming model. Thank you.